Hey guys, welcome back to lesson 29 of our study of the Catechism. This week we're introducing the Ten Commandments. So we'll begin with a prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. O oh my God, I firmly believe that thou art one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I believe that thy divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because thou hast revealed them, who canst neither deceive nor be deceived. O my God, relying on thy almighty power and infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of my sins, the help of thy grace, and life everlasting through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. O oh my God, I love thee above all things with my whole heart and soul, because thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of thee. I forgive all who have injured me, and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, lesson 29th on the commandments of God. First question, is it enough to belong to God's church in order to be saved? It is not enough to belong to the church in order to be saved, but we must also keep the commandments of God and of the church. Which are the commandments that contain the whole law of God? Altogether, the commandments which contain the whole law of God are these two. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with thy whole heart, with thy whole soul, with thy whole strength, and with thy whole mind. And two, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Why do these two commandments of the love of God and of our neighbor contain the whole law of God? These two commandments of the love of God and of our neighbor contain the whole law of God because all the other commandments are given either to help us to keep these two or to direct us how to shun what is opposed to them. Which are the commandments of God? The commandments of God are these ten. One, I am the Lord thy God, who brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt not have strange gods before me. Thou shalt not make to thyself a graven thing, nor the likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or in the earth beneath, nor of those things that are in the waters under the earth. Thou shalt not adore them, nor serve them. 2. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. 3. Remember thou, keep holy the Sabbath day. 4. Honor thy father and thy mother. 5. Thou shalt not kill. 6. 
thou shalt not commit adultery. 7. Thou shalt not steal. 8. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. 9. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. And 10. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's goods. Who gave the Ten Commandments? Altogether, God himself gave the Ten Commandments to Moses on Mount Sinai, and Christ our Lord confirmed them. Okay, well there you have it. That's the basic rundown of the Ten Commandments. And I love that first question. Is it enough to just belong to God's church in order to be saved? And the answer is no. We can't just belong to the church in order to be saved. Which means it's not like we can just go through the whole process of reaching confirmation and then be confirmed and then, you know, we're a full-fledged, initiated Catholic in the Catholic Church. That's not enough in order to be happy with God in heaven forever. We must also keep the commandments of God and of the church. So the commandments, there's a set of commandments that are from God directly, and then the church has its own commandments, which we'll learn about later on. That's like the last chapter. So So then this, we're just learning about the commandments of God, which he revealed to us directly on Mount Sinai through Moses. You know, Moses came down the mountain bearing these two tablets. And traditionally, it's taught that the, the first three of the Ten Commandments were on one tablet, which had to do, the first three commandments have to do with our relationship with God. And that the last... Seven, so commandments four through ten, were on a second tablet of stone that Moses carried down from Mount Sinai to present to the people. And those have to do with our relationship with others, other people. So we'll spend the next couple lessons going more in-depth into each commandment, what it really means, and how we can truly fulfill it in our lives, too. By the way, don't forget that these ten commandments are one of the best examinations of conscience out there. So if you're going to confession, you should start by doing an examination of conscience and just reading through these 10 commandments is one of the best ways to do so. It helps us to remember how we have offended God, either in our mortal or our venial sins. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the game quiz this week and we'll get more to the 10 commandments next time around. Take care, God bless.